This is Sarah. She just started jogging every week with a new app. It is designed to help her into the habit of running. After each run, she is rewarded with a little money. It isn't much, but week after week, it adds up. However, over time she feels less and less excited. At the same time, Thomas finishes jogging. Same as Sarah, he has been using Pal for a while, and now he's tired of the motivational messages the app has been sending. As he takes a break, Thomas encounters with Sarah. She is on the phone and tells her friend that it just doesn't feel the same. Thomas happens to overhear the conversation. Sarah's friend suggests to see a specialist for advice. Thomas tells Sarah he feels the same way. Both decide to visit a researcher. Sarah and Thomas went to speak with Gabriela, a researcher on behavior change applications from the University of Lausanne. Sarah explains that she started using PAL and little by little felt less motivated to go running. She wasn't sure if she was running for herself or for 60 cents. Thomas does the same and shows all the messages he received while running. Fortunately for them, Gabriela has an explanation. She tells that money and messages might help increase motivation at the beginning, but over time they have a detrimental effect on motivation. Rewards might confuse people about their real motives to run. If they feel these are the only reason for running, they will not be intrinsically interested in the activity. Similarly, messages can make people feel controlled and therefore harm their motivation.